Right, elegant peacock next. So this is the first one that we actually designed and made. So on the front, you've got these two beautiful peacock feathers, which are cutting files for you as well. And then when you open this up, you've got this lovely peacock that all pops up and you've got all these tail feathers. There are two versions of this in the one folder. One will say solid, which is what this one is. And the other one will say lacy and the lacy one is more open. You've also got embellishments for all the tail feathers and for the peacock. Do those before you glue them into your card because it's much, much easier. And what I got the team to do with this was actually put guidelines on the tail feathers so you know which pace goes where. So you'll have these little cut lines in your card and that's your guide as to where to put all the little pieces. Okay, so you will have three tail feathers and two peacocks for the body. And when you fold it in, your feathers need to go inside the peacock body. All right, so they, when it folds in, can you see? The tail feathers all fold inside the body. So it's important that you remember that when you're gluing your peacock in place, but we'll go through that as we go. So let's work from the instructions again so you know that they work. Fold the card base in half. <laughs> like that okay cut one set of peacock pop-up and decorate them both with the peacock embellishments so you will decorate yours i'm not decorating mine because we've got a lot of videos to get through um and i don't want to so you've got to use this color and you've got to do this this is your part of it this is where you get creative with it okay i'm just gonna have this open so that i can see right so on these peacocks we are going to fold the tabs inwards all right, so let's see what it says on oh, my next instruction. Here we are. So we're going to fold the tabs underneath the peacocks like that. And that one needs to come in this way. And then we are going to stick the two peacock pop-ups together, just adding glue to the top edge of the heads and the crown. I'm calling this the crown. But before I do that, I'm going to curve peacocks because we need to create space and that curve will help create space in here for those tail feathers to go into. So I'm going to curl these again like this and we are going to stick the crown and the top of the head. So glue on the crown and the top of the head. Okay. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to stick that one on top of there like that, okay? Like that. And then you need to let that dry. That's important that you let that dry. I wish I had a magic one that just went like that and it was dry. But then it says, fold the tabs inwards on the peacock pop-up. So we've already addressed that. If using solid tail feathers, glue the corresponding embellishments in place onto each tail feather. So each feather will have its own set of embellishments. You cut those out, glue them on top. Once all the tail feathers are completely dry, fold the vertical score lines forward and the horizontal score lines backwards. So if it's facing you, you're going to fold them so that they fold like that all right so when they're facing you they look like that the point is coming towards you so your vertical score lines forward and the horizontal score lines backwards or all as mountain mm -hmm. folds okay like that and it's important that you crease these really well right to the point all right because they need to be able to fold in. So you will end up with that. So that's the front of it, with your tail feathers facing forward. And behind it, you've got your two tabs, okay? And they're gonna stick into your card like that. But they're facing, so that V is facing you. So let's do the same with this one. They're all fold the same way, so a mountain fold. And here, can you see where it's going? It's come at here, this is quite a weak point because it's quite difficult to get that fold in. So again, 
use your scraper or an old credit card or a ruler something like that and don't just try and fold the card because there's detail lines in as to where to stick your embellishments it weakens the card a little bit but the embellishments strengthen it so it's kind of you know horses for courses really but it works and i made sure it worked this was the first one i did and then again when you get onto these tail feathers just make sure that you gently encourage those score lines and then fold these backwards all right so you're going right in and again get your scraper or your card or whatever you've got and just push that up against it and then make sure you go in and score those nice and tight on those score lines and then nice and tight on that central one so that one is going to face forward like that okay and then in between we've got the black one or whatever colour you decide to do. I did mine in teals and like an indigo and a lime green. Again, they were from American Crafts, all American Crafts cards dark actually. So we've got that nice fold in there. And we also have these along the bottom. So we're gonna fold these back like so. I'm gonna take our scraper or your bone folder whatever you use and we're going to fold that forward like that right so we've got all our tail feathers done now once the tail feathers are completely dry we've done the folding bit that's that bit done I glue the peacock body to the inside of the card aligning it with the guidelines at the bottom of the open card base so you have guidelines there sorry my eyes are going a bit scruffy now here at the bottom and you have a little teeny tiny marks going up we're just going to get the peacock body in place and then we don't really need to worry about the rest so there is a tab and there's a little score line there and there's a little score line there on either side of that central fold and then there's a little horizontal one there so let's address these tabs let's put some glue onto these tabs here like this okay like that and onto this tab here like that and then we're going to remember we curved our card which makes this easier and I'm going to position that tab in there and that tab in there so I'm lining the bottom edge of the tab that is closest to me, to the bottom design, detail line. There's no point me even holding it up for you because you won't be able to see it, it's that tiny. But when you're making yours, you'll know what I mean. And I'm gonna just get my tweezers in and make sure that I'm pressing down firmly those tabs and making sure that they're straight. Okay, on in a bit, like that. And then, again, let it dry thoroughly. It's not like a broken record, I know, but it is really important that you do that. Right, so we've now got our peacock body just glued together with the top of the head and the crown. So the next one you're going to put in is your smallest one at the front. So you're going to line that up. And when you put these in, sorry, I was just checking then, you're going to put them in so that they're opened out like that. All right, so that they're straight across. They're not folded that way or that way, they're straight across, but you've put that score line in so you know it's gonna fold. And you're going to line your perforation lines up on your tabs with the detail lines that are on the card, but you must make sure that that central score line lines up with the center score line of the card. That's the key to all the pop-ups, all right? The ones that need to line up, you need to make sure that they're bang on because if they're slightly out, it won't want to fold in properly. Right, so open it out, position the vertical score line on my tail feather so it's aligned with the centre score line of the card base. Align the perforation line of my tabs up to those little guidelines and press down firmly. Guess what? I'll have to dry thoroughly. <laughs> the 
nothing more frustrating than, well, there is something more frustrating. The frustrating bit is waiting for it to dry. The more, the more frustrating than that is trying to fold it when it's still wet because it pops off and then you get really frustrated because your cord splits. So, take it from one of the most impatient people ever. You need to just let it dry thoroughly. Right, your second one. Now, the guidelines are a guide, so I'm just going to go a little bit further back. Let me just have a look at my original one, how far I went back. Yeah, I went back probably about a quarter of an inch, maybe about six or seven mil back from the top of the tabs here. Okay, so the top of the tabs on the first tail feather, I went back quite a, a decent amount like six or seven mil back rather than lining up to the guideline because I think I just I just wanted it to fill the card a bit more I think that was my thought process behind it because I do that just go off piece a little bit but I am never going off piece when it comes to making sure that that vertical score line there is lined up to that score line there because that is crucial and just make sure that you're that you're straight, that you're aligned, okay? And then press down firmly. Let that on that side. There we go. Okay. And then your last set, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. So glue on the tabs. And then open it out, position it behind your middle one and make sure that it's lined up across there like so, okay? And then press down firmly. Make sure you get your glue and press down right up to where that tab starts and finishes like that, nice and straight and secure. And then you're going to leave that literally to dry thoroughly, okay, because you do not want to bend it while it's wet. Having said that, <laughs> when you fold your card base now, you are going to have to make sure that the, you need to make sure that the tail feathers fold forward and they're going to want to fight against that fold because they don't naturally want to bend in, but they need to go inside your peacock's body, okay? So it's, re it's reinforcing that fold back in again, which is a little bit tricky to do. So you've just got to push it. This is what I ended up doing, pushing it down. And I'm gonna make a right mess of this because I haven't left it to dry. In fact, I'm gonna go into this one because this one has been manipulated to within an inch of its life. So you can see from there, I've got my first tail feathers, then I've got a gap and I've got my second layer, then I've got a gap and I've got my third layer. And I think on the one that I've just done, I've made the, the front one a little bit too close to the body. And also I've used a thicker cardstock on that. With this being a lighter weight card, it wants to fold in naturally and I don't want to put too much force on the one I've just done. But can you see how the peacock there, the peacock body actually has to open out because all the tail feathers took inside the body. It's really difficult to show you there. Maybe you'll be able to see it. So it's a, it's a case of making sure that you are, this is really quite thick cardstock to be fair. There we go. So I'm going to lift one side up. Can you see now? When I lift this up, they are naturally want to go. We're going to want to go inside that peacock's body, but 
you're going to have to manipulate the card. And it's one of those that it's worth making a prototype for. It's not a lot of card, so you're not, you know, wasting much card. And I don't think a prototype is ever a waste anyway, because you're learning from it, aren't you? So I'm just, use a thinner weight cardstock. And once you've got it in once, it will then, you've got to go in a few times because you've got to widen that peacock body to get those inside. So there's the thing you can do. So when you're trying to push these in, if you open up the body like that of the peacock, so open it right out like that, and then push the wings inside, or the tail feathers, not the wings, I want to, the tail feathers inside like that and then close it so you're pushing the the wing, the feathers in first eventually you won't have to do that it's just getting that card to bend and eventually once it's bent you will end up with that which then naturally folds in so i would say a 216 220 card stock I won't go much thicker than that on this one because it has to do a lot of bending and popping up, bending and popping up, okay? Really nice project though, I, th I hope you agree. I just think it's really cute. And once you've got all these embellishments on it, it's a real wow. The lace one would be lovely for a wedding because it is literally, it's open work, which is very, very pretty. But I wanted you to have an alternative for that as well, that you could just fill with color, because that's what peacocks are about, isn't it? And then your two feathers on the front. Now, I think I resize these slightly, but of course you can do that with all of, the, all of them as well. If you're going to resize a pop-up card, you need to bring every element on first, group it, resize it, ungroup it, and save it because you need all the mechanisms and all the score lines to be in the right place and the right size. So that's your elegant peacock and I'm going to get ready for the next one now.